Hello, everyone. It's the last segment of E3 at GameSpot. Woo! The most energy I've had all week. Welcome to the GameSpot stage. We are joined by some friends. Uh, Lucy James, as always. Hello. We got Mary Kish, former GameSpotter, Twitch's own now. We got Brandon Jones from Easy Allies. Ooh. And Greg Miller from Kind of Funny. YouTube.com okay, okay. slash kind of funny. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Let me tell you the virtues of no. subscribing to YouTube.com no. slash kind of funny games. Chill I've Every ever day heard. we got kind of funny <laughs> games daily. It's fantastic. You got a shirt on already. That's right. Pride. Uh, this shirt that you can get at your kind of funny.com slash store right oh now. God. Is it on discount? I don't know. I doubt it. I think uh, he's done, so I'm going to move on. We are here <laughs> to. Uh, Rank the some of the best E3 2019 trailers. Because I bought these on Amazon, and I'm going to expense it, and I need a reason. <laughs> we have to okay, justify good. the expense, so we have some marker boards. We told Mary not to write anything too vulgar, but let's see what happens. Uh, what are some, like, we, we have a list of uh, trailers queued up, so if you go off topic, it'll probably just annoy Jean-Luc. He'll figure it out. Um, I, my, I'm going to start. Mine was Deathloop. Yes! Yeah, man! Yeah. 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 Did we just end the panel? That's right, it! Deathloop, that's we're done. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Deathloop. I was hoping for something from Arcane. This was an awesome announcement. Not at all what I expected, which is super cool. Arcade Leon, obviously, with uh, Dinga Bakaba, who, incidentally, the creative director does like parkour, like legit. Huh. Before the Bethesda conference started, uh, Harvey Smith was tweeting out videos of him doing like side flips and shit while they were doing sound tests. Anyway, Deathloop looks super cool. <laughs> the people who made uh, Dishonored, Prey, if you want to go back farther, uh, Arx Fatalis, Messiah, Dark Messiah of Might of Magic. Uh, this game looks super cool. I'm I know Arcane. We've done a. Uh, we talked about it. They don't. They weren't super clear on exactly how the game is going to work, but they did some cool things with Prey Moon Crash. So I imagine that would kind of transfer over into Death Death Loop. Uh, yep. Characters resurrecting, and whatnot, Groundhog so, Day style thing. What do you think when you think of the gameplay? What are you thinking? They've said first person. This first person shooter yeah. is in the press release. My my pitch is right that since it's these two assassins, one played by Dave Fenoy from DaveFenoy.com, mm -hmm. uh, going after each other, trying to kill each other. My assumption is we switch off as we go, and like you're on these missions to kill the other person. You kill the other person, then you wake up as the person you just killed and do it all over yeah, again. That's not yeah. it. That sounds super cool. Because I when I first saw the two characters, I was thinking Dishonored two. You pick Emily or. Cor Corvo, yeah, but that sounds way cooler. But I, I do think it's time for like, Arcane can clearly make immersive Sims. Probably no one else around today is making them as well. They've proven that. I'd like to see them do something cool, like you just mentioned. Uh, either way, this trailer was also just really good. Just dope, yeah, yeah, it's so good. And just lots of great stylistic stuff that we I didn't see a lot of trailers do. A lot of trailers yeah. just straight gameplay, and there's really fun transitions and. It's weird because it's like super sci-fi desolate, but almost kind of has like a spy 50s vibe. It's got it's yeah. that pulp, right? It seems yeah. like a pulp adventure. Like almost like a 70s, 70s those aberration, chromatic past, aberration. Right? Yeah. We're seeing a lot of things right now that are taking place in the future, so it's really cool to have something stylized yeah. 70s, maybe even yeah. 60s-ish style. Yeah, because yeah, when they started off, it looked like, you know the cutscenes in Dishonored 2, the, the kind of cartoony looking, uh, just, you know, two images slowly yeah. fading over each other? It started off looking like that, and then it went into that which is now lo no longer on screen. But you know what I'm getting at, right. which is really cool. And I just think it was subverted what I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, because Arcane's done steampunkish, well, blubber, money, whatever Arcane was. Uh, sorry, Dishonored was. Prey, sci-fi, Arx Fatalis, more like a... And Dark Messiah were all medieval kind of yeah. fantastical stuff. And this is just weird, and I like it. Uh, you know what we could probably do, actually? It'd be easier. We could rate them. Like out of ten, I'll keep track. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep track of the scores as we go. Okay. I'll, I got, you, I got my calculator. You're gonna do the math in your mental. head, and then you're gonna retain <laughs> all those numbers. The math is scale, gonna be Eric scale. Yeah, what's the, the scale? Math? What's the scale? Hundred point scale. What are we? Out of five. Out of five. Oh wow. Okay. okay. That's you easier work coming. Okay. That's, that's easier work. I was like, we could use the Gamespot scale. Yeah. Well, no. Sorry. Yeah. We are on a Gamespot stage. Let's do out of ten. Out of ten. No halves. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Whole numbers. Whole numbers. Whole numbers. Whole numbers on it. Okay. What did he say? When do we Oh, John Luke's going to keep track. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Okay, do you want to... Yeah, I'm going to write one down. Uh, I'll, when I say flip them... Don't cheat, Luce. All right, flip them. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like eight, eight, oh. seven, eight five nine. average. Eight to nine. Eight Who would have thought five? the two smartest people on the panel it's live not, together? No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we collude Their opinions, Greg. <laughs> no, no, we're the right ones. All right. You know what I mean? John Luke, you got that. Three eights and two nines. Uh, all right, what's uh, what's the next trailer we're gonna do? So Let's... I did expense the whiteboards what? and I brought the pens. Did you expense the erasers? No, I did not, Mary. <laughs> no, I did not. Your shirt you have yeah. thumbs. Uh, all right, not next all trailer. Of us have shirts they can just throw away at the end of this. I'm gonna pull up my list just in case. Like but we do have 
the Breath of the Wild sequel trailer ready oh, okay. to rock, which was a huge surprise. <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah. Are we are we rating based on the game or on the trailer? It is. It's an unscientific process. Yeah. Um, trailer specifically. Trailer uh, specifically. That's a good point. That's a very okay, good point. A, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you should host. Um, yeah, based on the trailer. <laughs> you were talking about hosting a game spot, Mary. <laughs> Why'd you fucking this leave? Place is really, um, <laughs> it's really leveled oh, out since yeah. I left. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah. Well. We'll bring the trailer up. Uh, Legend, of, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Uh, I think it confused a lot of people because it's got all this Twilight Princessy music and kind yeah, of uh, those, those effects. But then it zooms out and shows what looks like Hyrule from Breath of the Wild. Anywho, they then said Breath of the Wild <laughs> sequel coming. So then it just blew everybody's nips off. It was great. It was an awesome like turn at the end of their direct, which was already pretty solid because they're not on the cusp of that console generation switch. Right. So they're like... Let's just go all in on games. Oh, also, let's make, announce a sequel to, I think is arguably one of the best games ever made. Uh, I don't know. What would you guys think about this before we rate it? I think, I think it's one of those things where, to me, it's the excitement of the game. It's the excitement for the potential of what yeah. it could be. The actual structure of the trailer is like, all right. Exactly. Yeah, and it, exactly. it's tough. Well, it's kind of also like Deathloop. Like, one of my major criticisms of that would be, I wish I knew a little bit more. Yeah. I wish I, and not know more, but I wish there were clues that I could kind of discern what's going on. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is intentionally obtuse, but then, you know, for me, it drops. This one, I mean, it gives off the vibe, right, that they're Majora's masking it. Yeah. Like, right? Yeah. Like, it's going to be the world you already know, but with this dark evil in it, new gameplay, new I reasons to go through. I don't know, man. Hyrule Castle's taken off into space. So that's, that's, that's what, what I, I said. We're, we're going to be on the moon. Wow. We're going to be on the moon as it crashes down. Super Mario. Was yeah. Super Mario definitely going yes. up? Or was it... Was it because it was rumbling, but I don't know if they showed going up. What if it's sinking? Yeah. 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 Termina the was sinking underground. sinking city yeah. another yep. time. Yeah. Lots of crossovers. Is, which, right. we, as we all know, Also, it's worth it noting Mars. that this is probably much farther from being done than Death Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. It definitely is. Uh, all right. Are we ranking? Yeah, well, let's rate the challenge. ask your favorite Zelda? It's my favorite game ever made. Well, wow. Well, Warframe was your favorite game ever. Somebody's no numbers are going to be a little partial. Though. Yeah. Was, okay. <laughs> we'll see. I'm biased. Oh, you want to do ob uh, objective scores. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yeah, flip them. Boom! Ooh, oh, look at that! Oh, that's, 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 that's a shot. Yeah, that's a yeah, shot yeah, yeah, fired yeah. at you. That's not that's true. Move. I, I think, I think I'm, I'm with Brandon. I think it could have been. Swine. It's all right. <laughs> I'm with Brandon. It was an awesome trailer. It was a swerve. No one saw it I liked, <laughs> I liked the announcement more than the trailer. Yeah. 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 Oh, so I what was factoring weird... in. I was kind of. Are we not supposed to factor in sort of? People's excitement. Oh yeah, yeah. How, people, how much in. people exploded? Because that's why I went. Oh, if I was factoring that in. What? Oh no, I, no. If we are factoring that in, that would all get tens. I think for people's excitement. You're changing trailer. the rules. Trailer. No. <laughs> okay, trailer. Trailer. Six. I still thought it was good. John Luke. Good. Six. Seven. 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 Eight. Eight. Oh, I already erased it. I don't know why I was looking for an eraser. All right. Next trailer. By the list, I would pull it out. Um, control. The new E3 control trailer. Ooh. Which control, it's odd because it's about a month and a half away. Yes, yeah, that's right. Playing it. Bringing up the trailer right now behind us. Uh, this game, every time. This game is so easy to sell. Just watch it for like five minutes and yeah. it's sure. old. Uh, hey, do you like weird crap? Here's a game that's all weird. Do you like David Lynch? Yeah, I do. Thomas and Mikhail from the team came on stage to talk about it. They were saying their aim this year for E3 was to show more of the emotional narrative side. Right. Uh, like I said, as soon as you see Control, and even the people who played it, they're like, yeah, I'm sold. Yeah. It feels awesome. It looks awesome. They were showing us more characters, kind of the flavor of the story. I liked it. I think it's kind of an unfair criticism for me, but... Because we've already seen so much of the gameplay that just looks awesome already, I think yeah. I would. I just want to keep seeing that. But it was cool that they went for more narrative thing. Uh, but it, the thing about this trailer, though, short. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-five seconds. Very I think. short. Or Thirty-five. Yeah. Was, well, was, you're to the point that you, you have to stop showing things. Yeah. yeah. You have to sell people on the game, but you can't like yeah really push it. I don't think. Yeah. You think there's gonna be like serious spoilers going on in the story? So they're just I like, hope oh, so, they're gonna right? show you the janitor. Would at the you beginning? be able to know it's a spoiler? Like, would you I don't even know what, know what you're looking at? Gonna be yeah. going back in time and <laughs> bending shit. All right, let's write them down. Uh, here you go. Let's yeah. see. Control by Remedy. I don't know. I forget the exact release date. End of July, I believe. <laughs> yeah? Does anybody know here? Live audience? 27th? July 27th. August, August, June 27th. August 27th. Sound third, it out, everybody. <laughs> my third guess. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. August 27th, Control by Remedy. Okay. All right, flip them. 
Oh, okay. I can tip. He you likes it. And then he brings low the bowling me. Yeah, no, I liked it. You double crossing swine. <laughs> I, I didn't, Less than a really minute? The no, old not for flip three. flop McCarty. Yeah. So I liked it, but at the same time, we are very close to the release. I think yeah. even that trailer from last year told me everything I wanted to know about it. So this was just a nice little flavor piece, an accoutrement. Yeah. A moose bouche and a moose bouche. <laughs> um, Lucy, I'm gonna have you That's lead for a little bit while I pull up the list, but we can do C Punk Double Sev, as I've been calling it. It's Cyber true. Punk, he Cyber has been calling it that. 2077. Finally, C it. we're calling it C Punk 27. So. Well, I have said C Punk uh, 77, and then uh, Andy Cortez is like, no, C Punk Double Sev. Damn, that's good. I know. I do like that. Got a C really nice ring to it. Set. This so, was awesome. hang on. Are we counting Is it in the trailer? Keanu? He is in the trailer. He's, there you he's go. in the trailer. But I'm are answering we, are your, we I knew he was, by the way. I was answering your question before you even... No, no, no. Because no, I was counting the adorable bit at the end where he was like... Trailer. Just take trailer. Take a look at this. Just no, trailer. No, no. Okay, okay, that's yeah, not part of the trailer. Is that... Did you see it on the screen? I don't know. It hasn't finished yet. This... What? Well, let's agree that was awesome, yes. But let's yeah. just well, judge from the trailer. Okay. Well, um, shut up. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Mike and I finally got to see the presentation today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um, a momentous occasion for me, by the way, and I'll tell you great, why in right? a second. Yeah. yeah. I remember last E3 when they were showing like the eye scene and everyone was freaking out. Oh, yeah. And now we're like yeah. coming back and they're showing so much more. It's so much, it's like so exciting to see people who saw just like literally yeah. an eye, a very quick eye video. And now we're like seeing so much more of this game. Actually, right. understanding where you are. Everybody ready? All right. Yeah. yeah. Flip them. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> An eight. Eight. Yeah. Huh? What, the, what? Get out of here. Like, what did we have that. to do? I don't know. I'm just. Uh, oh, sorry. Nathan <laughs> Fillion didn't show up. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Nathan oh, Fillion is the tenth for me. Uh, no, really? Huge fan of Keanu, but we're talking about the trailer all together now, right? right? Yeah, but so, then, you know, Jackie gets done in, and yeah. like, you want emotional residence, right? And you and we spent so reaction. much of last year, like building him up as a character, uh, like he was one of the main focal points of the whole demo. I, which I figured out that I've now seen four times. I've wow. seen that forty-plus minute demo four times. And I was like, and to, for him to get shot and seemingly die. It looks really good. I'm not saying it doesn't look good. I'm just saying. An eight is Where still I come from, good. an eight is garbage. Now, yeah, I wow. believe that the saying is eight is great. Is that not the case? Eight well, is it great. rhymes, people so say. yeah, I guess, sure. Nine is fantastic. It's easy to remember. Ten is uh, <laughs> uh, unmissable. When Ten is tops. Ten is the best. Oh, you're talking about for GameSpot? Yeah. Uh, for essential. Games that's ne essential. Essential. Necessary, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's why I said it was a momentous occasion. Second 10 out of 10 of my life I've ever given. Look at yeah, that. Gave a I think that's based on the GameSpot review score where it's essential to have watched this. Yeah. Ah, I think this balances with last year's trailer really well, too. Last year was like very much about the, the city, seeing like a slice of life just across yeah. the board. Yeah. And this, like, not only focusing on the character more, but we're meeting characters that we met last year yeah. again, having yeah. what made, you know, much more impact. Here comes the gore. It was. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Good scores all around. John Luke's probably got him by oh. now. Uh, let's move on Good to scores. another I'm game. Watch him get his hands cut off. Another game that actually has a real release date. No wow. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Few and far between yeah. here at E3 Whoa. 2019. <laughs> uh, another one that people have been waiting for a release date for quite some time yeah. as well. Final Fantasy VII Remake. <sighs> so, here's why I find myself at a crossroads. I've never really played Final Fantasy VII. A man of taste. I will say. <laughs> I will say. The trailer, I thought was good. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. a good trailer. It's a good on its, trailer. In its own merit. It's just weird because it's a trailer for a remake of a game that people absolutely would die for. Uh, it's showing Midgar. We know now that the first part of However Many, they're not saying. I saw they they don't know. I know. They yeah. don't know. Yeah. Because they apparently don't know, they say. This will be, this will end, uh, presumably, okay, they did not say it'll end when you leave Midgar. They just did, did say that no, they it will only, it they did. Okay, gotcha. From Midgar. So yeah. it's Midgar. Uh, city you might know from Final Fantasy VII. You got our boy Cloud here. Uh, Tifa was shown more, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, I didn't write mine down. Imagine the pressure of making a you trailer pen. for such a highly coveted, highly beloved game. You have the pen, Michael. And oh, whether or not you show something or don't show something is going to like make or break yes, everybody. This uh, was an intense moment. Yeah. But will fans ever know your name? <laughs> editor? <laughs> random editor who cut this video? Gary. Yeah. Yeah, Gary. This one's for you. Gary. We'll pick the... those clips. Gary. Gary. Way to go, Gary. Ooh. Gary. All right, I'm getting that dock up. I'm not texting, I promise. Yeah, you are. 
I texted you. <laughs> asking you what your score was. Yo, what are you eating after this? <laughs> yeah. All right. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Flip those. Boom. Man, you're you're savage. No, I give a ten. What do you, give? you give a seven. I, I, like I said, I I, I get. Hot I, I I have to. You have to acknowledge that. Okay. The Final Fantasy Seven. I'm not saying I'm not knocking the nostalgia. I'm just yeah. saying like. Not having played it, it didn't do as much for me. You didn't for think me, Sephiroth was still a beautiful trailer, though. Very good it's trailer. Just, yeah. Set up the game well. It's good. just Midgar. Like, I'm not surprised we're still in this environment, but it's just Look like... Look at his hair physics and change that to an I, eight. I, I can only take animal. so many pipes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just more pipes. Sure. Uh, yeah. Steampunk's paradise. What are you more excited for, incidentally? Cyberpunk or Final Fantasy VII Remake? Cyberpunk. Oh, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk. for me, yeah. yeah. What about you? Probably Cyberpunk. Yeah. But this trailer is really beautiful, and I yeah. gave the higher score to... Look at the hair physics! I he looks so good. That. He looks like a dream boat. And they show every character. They give him a nice zoom in. Sorry, I'm looking at this very cinematographic, <laughs> like a cinematographer. Well, this, this is brilliantly trail. made. The thing, I mean, compare it to like the Kingdom Hearts, the three versions of the same Kingdom Hearts trailer they released right. last year. With no sound like, effects. One of which had no sound effects. Oh yeah, then, I remember that. Know, and then they've stepped up their game with this. All right, we're That's going. Uh, we're going across the pond with this one. <laughs> oh, I got from there. Yep. What, uh, Watch Dogs Legion. <laughs> Watch Dogs Legion. At you can only Press mean Conference. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> this game, uh, we'll talk more about it once we score it. Um, In a post-Brexit world. Which we were not allowed. No. Yeah. <laughs> we're supposed to ask about on stage. Really? Yeah, she just talked about London a lot. Have you been there? Once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Got Let's the trailer right here. Well, showing a lot of things. Showing off how you can be any character. Well, I keep thinking about the... Demo, and that's yeah, the different demo. from the trailer. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. The demo, the de mind the blowing. Oh, oh, I, I would honestly say okay. Watch Dogs Legion is probably my game of the show. I love Cyberpunk. I saw it. I love it. But if they pull off, pull this uh, off, they push. Did you get to watch the demo? Yes. If yeah. they push past the ambition what, and get to. Oh, I thought you meant the demo during Ubisoft. Oh no, like, I went and played oh, it. I played it today. Shit. Yeah, yeah I, I want to pick your brain about what that. What do you think about uh, APC? Can, can you talk about that? I, I, no one told me about it. Okay, I'll tell you all about it. Ubisoft's gonna rappel down from the ceiling in a second. Um, all right, yeah, based on this trailer, flip them. Oh, sorry, you're not oh. done. No, yeah, I'm not, right. not there, I'm not there, I'm not there. I'm not, there. I'm not, I'm not ready. There. Okay, flip them. Yeah. yeah. I feel like four, seven, I'd go wow. seven. Oh, like, wow. Combo yeah, breaker. Yeah, you got one out. Combo I'd go 7.5. Yeah, I liked it. Okay, not on if, it was a, if it was allowed, I'd go 7.5. I know it's Back not allowed. Back down, Get your point halves on the way. Just letting you know. All right. Yeah. It's the promise of the game. Again, that is probably my game of the show. Didn't even get to play it. Awesome. So I'm, I'm a big fan, really quick, about of like State of Decay, when you can play as multiple people. Yeah. It's a smaller scale. It looks like they're taking that idea, combining with Watch Dogs, putting it in an all right city. They're just making it super, it's ambitious as hell. And yeah. I, I, I kind of don't believe it. it. I know. But I kind of but I kind of look for that in like the hottest E3 games. I was saying there's that, a little bit of like, no. This is no. what I can't Helen, wait for me. Helen. Because hashtag of Helen the Assassin. Right. Look at her. I kept saying. Look at her slowly walking up in a very high traffic area with a pistol. Desert eagling that guy in the face. No Every time I saw it, uh, whether it was a trailer or Helen a demo. Helen gets a 10. Helen yeah. gets a Trailer 10. gets a 7. I kept saying, what's the catch? What are you sacrificing of course. to make all this happen? But how many voice actors are in this game? After playing it, I think I want a number. What you sacrifice, is, and I loved it too. I gave it one of the kind of funny awards. I saw your face. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think what you're sacrificing is the that visual fidelity slash panache of the main character. You know how it always is, like if everybody's an NPC, everybody's face kind of looks like an NPC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which I'm I'm will I'm totally willing to sacrifice Dude, that. Dude, going through it and having them show me the systems and then they explain how this is because it was like. I was like, but how are you doing this? Like, do you really want to know? And he was like, yeah, we just put the controller down. He explained the way the game in nanoseconds works. Uh, where it's like you look at a person and you get their information and then you hold RB to scan them. And what that does is builds the initial profile. Yeah. Like, while it's scanning them, it's like, oh, random generate all this stuff cool. of where they're from, what they're doing, where they're going, what their day would be. Like I said, seeing like what Undead Labs did with State of Decay, even pre-Microsoft funding when they bought them last year, was super impressive, and I, I personally get more attached to characters that I'm telling the story. Yeah, I think yeah. we all do. that you're yeah. that you're investing points yeah, in yeah. that you're seeing right. Growth. And that was the thing about it. Like your team, your roster can be a max of 20 people. Yeah. Yeah. And so as you go in there and you start giving them perks, because you everybody gets three perks. Mm -hmm. There's like way more than three though. So you're going and there's three different classes. Then you have three different perks assigned to it. So you can have a 20 person team that's all granny infiltrators, but they all have different perks, so they're all, you know, right for the right job. All granny infiltrators, yeah. but it's permadeath, so yeah. if you fall in love with a yep. character and you Sick. upgrade them and you use them for yeah. all these different campaigns and then they die. Yeah. And just it's like, it's like a nursing home where they 
train assassins. Exactly. Yeah. Dear God. <laughs> really, really good trailer analysis, Greg. That was. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That I think, excluding what I what I heard from you, what I've seen in their gameplay, the trailer just felt like more Watch Dogs, and then you're like, oh, you can be anyone. Though. I get that it. That was great. Yeah. Um, okay. And isn't it like very narration heavy? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's, that's all. Well, really that the, the real Oi Governors. Just, are we, are we supposed to know concept, who that concept, voiceover was? Or no? I'm not sure who that was. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, all right. Going back to Microsoft Dick for Mandy. this one. 12 minutes. Is he minutes. still alive? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 12 minutes trailer. Ah. Groundhog's Day. A uh, little bit. Oh, actually, speaking of, apparently the Shining Carpet made it into the 12 minutes trailer. It did. Ah. I didn't see it. Uh, we got a right trailer here. out this morning, too. Hmm. You want more Shining so for those, content? Well, you can watch the trailer, but for those who don't know, it's basically minutes. setting up. It's this couple talking at their table in the kitchen and this, uh, <laughs> like, um... Quentin Tarantino, upward, yeah. downward look at the room right here, uh, and you see a couple talking. She's like, he's like, you got me a present. I know. You, I, he knew what it was inside. She's like, My man doing? sounding like Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, 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 there's someone about to knock on the door. Don't trust him. Don't go with him. Yeah. Uh, apparently, you're doing like a Groundhog's Day thing, and yeah. from what I understand, you're essentially trying what? to escape a life like or death a scenario. Thriller noir set in about a man in time loop. Yes. Which just sounds incredible. The time loops are so in this year. E3 2019, the year of... It's just got such a different look than any uh, game I've seen in such a long time. It's top-down, story-driven. Like, yeah. when have you yeah. seen something like that? So it's extremely unique. It's extremely interesting. Narrative-driven. You know they're going to take a lot of time and care with it because I've seen that this has been in development for years. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to seeing this, and this, like, piqued my interest. Also, and it's Annapurna, so I'm day one. I was just going to say, also, side note, as a publisher, Annapurna has been killing it. There ain't nothing weird weird stuff. Movies and games, yeah. 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 That right. I don't love. Everybody scored 12 minutes? Yeah. Ready? Flip them. Yeah, good yeah. trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great yeah. trailer. Good trailer. Good We're all on board. Two not, three nines, two eights. Yeah. It's also, this was PC gaming show? This? Xbox. Yeah. Xbox. Xbox. Oh, yeah. Xbox. Yeah. It was kind of, uh, they did this, and then they did that montage, I believe, of a bunch of games, and then said, like... Well, idea Xbox stuff. Or just a... No, I think it was just, like, games that we already know is oh, coming. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I think yeah. Ori... No, Ori got its own thing. Yeah. yeah. So Ori got a release window. Sorry, John Luke, remind me how much time we have in my ear, but yes. Um, <laughs> yeah. Good drama. Nice we build. We might have... You really feel the again? end of this trailer. Okay, cool. Our producer is um, telling us Sorry, before minutes. the show, they told me I was supposed to end 10 minutes earlier, but now my director is telling me we're ending... Go 10 yeah, minutes. Okay. We'll figure it out. Well, Someone will come out and stop us. I got another one. <laughs> I got another one. Uh, I hope he has this ready. He might not. Who knows? Um, I'm ready for one trailer specifically. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me. What about Halo Infinite? Wait, wait, hold on. What do you, what do you want to do? Uh, banjo, man, come on. Okay, we're gonna do banjo, banjo and smash. The, yeah. We don't have that ready, but John yep. Luke, I might. I don't want to throw oh off. Oh my god, that's oh, no, 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 fine. You All guys right, got banjo, throw banjo these and smash. In advance. Uh, a little, a little bit of a bait and switch, huh? A bait. Oh yeah, uh, 100%. bait and switch. It's been a lot. Of ah. Thanks. A trailer making fun of another trailer in the same campaign. Mm -hmm. I love it. Very, just, very you know what's going to happen, but they're still just dangling the character in front of you. Yeah. Again, I don't know if we'll get the B roll in time, but. You all saw it. You know Banjo what happened. Banjo and Smash, John Luke. Sorry, he doesn't have it ready. We'll we'll explain it. I've had I've Real had quick. that job before, so I yeah I know I know, I know yeah, the yeah. scramble. Ex ex sorry, it really good. quick. So He's like, dude, it's four minutes to well, the end of E three. We had to reveal. <laughs> I'm not it's searching my for this ass. with Donkey Kong and Diddy of King K Rule. You know, it was, it was yeah. they thought it was him with the shadow, but then it turned out to be somebody else, and then King K Rule comes Duck in. Dog. They thought it was Duck Hunt Dog. In the first trailer, King K Rule trailer, I don't remember who was like, ah, I'm not King K Rule, and then. They go oh, back oh, and they're, they're like, remember that trailer? Are we going to do the same joke again? Yeah, we are. And it just the Smash trailers, when it actually gets into gameplay, every little bit, every like three second clip is so carefully constructed and like there's all these little hidden jokes in there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. This is why I, for one, am glad Reggie's gone. He couldn't get this done, but Doug Bowser comes in. He's making deals left and right. All right. Ooh. This is all I'm he had to do. Faint. We're sold now. Okay. All right. Everybody ready for yeah. Banjo in e Smash? Yeah. Flip them. So good. Yeah. So really good. good. Yeah. I only two I eight, gave it an nine, eight woo, ten. because the Persona one destroyed me. Sure. Because I am more like I was there at the Game Awards and I think I shrieked. Whereas this was a very great, a very right. good, great trailer, right. but I di I didn't shriek. But that's we, your personal we all got our bias. Characters. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care at all about Banjo. I think it was a great trailer oh. to reveal. While yeah, we're here, it was good. Can we talk about Bam Bam. Wait, wait, hold oh, on. Bam, 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 really the dog. Can we rate dogs that we saw at this show? Because, yeah, Bam, 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 Bam. Let's rate that dog. Yeah. Ooh, is it Bam, Bam? There's the dog in the Blair Witch. There's a few dogs oh, that was called sniffing bullet. bombs out front. Bullet the dog. 
in Blair Witch. Oh, the dog at Ghostwire that's Blair alone. Oh, it's like oh, just oh, the leash. Or no, the, not a yeah. corny. Oh, uh, yeah. let's all rate Bam Bam now. Oh, Ghostwire was the last one I had. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do that okay, one. Yeah, yeah. So we're all rating Bam Bam now. Oh, yeah, well. Put your numbers down. Yeah. Oh, I need the pen, but. It's my favorite yeah. kind of dog, yeah. too. Ten. Blue Nose Pitbull. Ten. Very cute. Ten. John Bernthal has a cute dog. Bam Bam. Let's do that. Let's close out with Ghostwire, and then we'll see which wins. Yeah. So Ghostwire. Sorry. Tokyo Ghostwire or Ghostwire Tokyo? We had this argument upstairs, and I think I was also wrong up there. <laughs> Ghostwire Tokyo. I'm so mad, I'm not even going to bother to remember yeah. the right answer. <laughs> Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, very surprising, because I think most people thought Shinji Mikami was here for Evil Within 3, which would have been awesome. But here we have some sort of rapture happening in Tokyo, and people are just getting lifted uh, into some other universe, and their clothes are left behind. Super creepy. There's a dude with a bow and arrow and like a hazmat hoodie. Um, Single-handedly, the best cut slash transition of any trailer I think I've ever seen with yeah. the noodles. <laughs> yeah. Disturbing. With um, the noodles. With the noodles. Also, a side note, uh, I forget her name. The, her pe the, the woman who everybody's fallen in love with this year. Yep, came sure. Oh, yeah. um, None of us are here to help you. No, we yeah, have nothing on that one. <laughs> spooky. All right. Thanks for it's calling spooky. us out. Great, thanks. I appreciate that. It's nice. I was just trying to embarrass myself. Yeah, Go we're all, we're all terrible people. Everybody ready? Yeah. Going. Flip them. Yeah. 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 Nine, oh, all nine, cut, one ten. Noodle cut. All nine, I love the notes. One, I love oh, the yeah. clarification. Yeah. This is Definitely noodles. noodles. Like just like purely <laughs> for the nudes. Purely. <laughs> I was gonna say send nudes. Yeah. <laughs> purely cinematic and atmospheric. This trailer is fantastic. Yeah. And uh, all right. Yeah. The only downside, right, was like as she explained beforehand, but not getting a better taste of what gameplay was. Absolutely. Yeah. It was like uh, what was the game we were talking about earlier? Deathloop. Deathloop. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Same conference too. Yeah. Spooky. 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 Bethesda just teasing right. everybody. Well, one. John Luke, if you know what one told us, but otherwise, uh, I think it was this trailer. What was your somebody taking? <laughs> okay, all right, I got the answer. I'll reveal in a second when we close out. But I want to hear everybody's game of show, regardless of trailer, whether you played it or not. What are you most excited for coming out of E3? If you're not ready, I can go to someone else. Definitely for Cyberpunk. Okay. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Steampunk Double Sev. Yeah. Greg. Steampunk Double Sev. Brand. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay. <laughs> Gears, Gears of War 5. <laughs> oh, Rod came up to, to show that. It looks, or the birds that, that, that I rode to the awesome. convention every day. <laughs> oh, the scooters? Yeah. Uh, that, the escape mode looks really I'm always cool. a Gears Mine's fan. Watch Dogs Legion. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be great. Yeah. All right. Cool. My game of the show was Watch Dogs Legion. According to these five super experts... The best trailer of E3 2019 was Seapunk Double Sev. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 an award for that. And I wonder why. Is he here? I was hoping Keanu would be here. Dude, a friend of mine, I just saw, he was like, oh, I was Mike in the... Mike Tyson at, uh, after oh, yeah, my cyberpunk. Yeah. A friend of mine was in the hotel room next to Keanu Reeves <laughs> and like bumped into him getting ice. <laughs> my friend's he in gets the same ice. hotel room as him. It's Keanu's my friend. Oh, fuck. No, Why I'm does sick. that stop your heart, him getting ice? Because he's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> he just likes a cold beverage. <gasps> no. Okay. All right. I love him. I've never seen you get ice. Tried to You've never got me ice. The ice machine on the fridge is broken. Okay, Henry. first off, as the only person who fills the ice trays in the in the, in the house, don't even start. <laughs> it's become a roommate quabble. Yeah. This is how we air our... Three people in the building, is. Mike, are in our apartment. Guess how many people take out their cycling? One. Oh. It's you. You. It's heavy. It's uh, There's a lot of it. It builds up. Stop wasting so I, much If they would do it more frequently, right, right. Jen and Lucy, it wouldn't build up. You know what? I yep. digress. It's, it's, yeah. All right. Unfortunately, we're out of time, and E3 is kind of essentially over, especially Woo. for all intents and purposes here on the stage show. Mary, thank you so much for joining us, as always. Uh, Thanks for I'll having me. I'll see you when we record the next episode of Knievel. That's right. Brandon Jones, it was nice to meet you in person for me, finally. Trailers! Oh. Good trailers. <laughs> trailers are great. Hype. A, trailers good year are great. of trailers, would you say, overall? Good. Oh, uh, yeah. There was a, I liked a lot of them. There really wasn't that one, like, <gasps> really crazy standout. Like, yeah. Keanu's a great moment, but, you know. Yeah. Solid, right? It was a yeah. solid, solid, solid. solid. Yeah, yes. yeah. I am pleased. Yeah. And you can go see more of Brandon on Easy Allies if you don't already keep up with them. Greg Miller from Kind of Funny, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I think, me. despite being on your show a few times, this is the first time you and I have been on stage. Exactly. Together, I think. Oh. When I got to go somewhere, I'm yeah. like, Mike can do it. Bring yeah. him in. <laughs> yeah. Lucy, Hi. you'll probably see more of me. Yeah, we work together. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, thank you. Whether you're in the live audience or at home, thank you so much for joining uh, throughout the whole week. We had a lot of great interviews. You can go see those on YouTube.com yep. slash GameSpot or on GameSpot.com. Probably have some on Facebook. I don't even have a Facebook anymore. But we were so glad you could join us all throughout this week. Lucy, it's done. We did it. Thanks, everyone, again. And thank you for watching. Go catch up on all the news. I'm going to yeah. go to sleep. <laughs>